YouTube, this is DJ Scene. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put Crazy Man 32 on a plane. So, what you want to do is you want to find the plane that you're going to put Crazy Man 32 on, and I'm just going to find some random free model plane that's really common that all the noobs use. No offense. And, uh, this one already has it. So, let's just find one. Maybe, let's see. This one, this one. This one doesn't have uh, Crazy Man 32 on it, plus it's misnamed. So this is Eurobs, or however, however you pronounce it. Uh, Boeing 737. 800, which is pretty much outdated, but a lot of the people still use it. So, I'm just going to put Crazy Man 32 on this for no apparent reason. So, if it's if the plane is tilted like this, what you want to do is you want to get a random brick and keep highlighting that brick while you put the plane on it, and then it should correct itself. So, there you go. And then to put the actual Crazy Man 32 on it, you first you can search play in kit old and then it should be the one that has parentheses over old put that down here and then delete everything in other parts and delete everything in landing gear and then find the cockpit of the plane and put this brick with the seat on it on that part so this plane already has an aircraft seat on it so I'm just gonna just de uh, destroy that there and I don't know why people do this but there's also a wedge so let me just get that out too all this part isn't necessary but it just helps okay <coughs> So now that we have that done, we put this into the cockpit. One second. And then you can just leave it like that for now and find the landing gear of the plane. So just ungroup it. And then we should have the landing gear. So here's the landing gear. So highlight the landing gear. Or just find it. And copy and paste it into the plane kit. And landing gear. Don't put it in other parts. Put it in landing gear. Because if you put it in other parts, the landing gear just won't come up. But if you put it in landing gear, then it will actually act like landing gear. And if it's a plane where the landing gear do really doesn't come up in real life then just put it in other parts. It's kind of confusing, but... Yeah. And then do the same thing with the other landing gear parts. And put them in landing gear. And do the same thing with the other one. And put that landing gear again. And then when you're all done, the la all the landing gear should be inside of the plane. And what's this? And then after that, you want to lock the plane kit. And how you do this is there's a little lock. It actually really does look like a lock. On the top of the Roblox Studio 2013, you just click that. And click the model you want to lock. And what that does is it prevents the person from being able to, like, use or destroy the part that you just locked. So, what I'm going to do now is highlight everything else and put it into other parts of the plane. 
other parts, nothing else but other parts, because if you put it in anything else, it will completely glitch out, and that's horrible. And that's also another common error, so don't put it in edit, don't put it in plain tool, just put it in other parts. So when you're done, the plane should be working, but one more thing. So if you've ungrouped a plane kit before, what happens is all these little script things go on to the top of your workspace, and that can completely mess up the plane. So just delete all of that if you even have them. Because that really messes with other planes, because that could be a reason why your plane kit stopped working, and that highlight is somehow stuck there. So, yeah. And then if this plane somehow is, like, falling apart, when you enter the game, and the, like, all the landing gears twisted up, and all the seats are, like, demented, what you do is you just anchor the plane, and it'll be all better, and everything will just be, like, a real plane. And this happens because the welding script breaks, and I don't know how, but anchoring it just does fix that. So what we're going to do now is test it, but before you test it, just remember to put a spawn next to it. Because it's really annoying when you start falling off the map. So, test, play solo. And then, it should be working. So here we have our plane, and then when you jump in it, there's the plane tool, and then you can just fly it. So, yeah. So once your plane is actually working, and you know you can fly it and stuff, you may be wondering, like, why in the world, when I try to land my plane, does this happen? and chili chaos. So, what you do to fix the crashing thing, well, it's not really a fix, it's just kind of annoying when noobs try to kamikaze you and blow you up and stuff and crash into you. So what you want to do to just uh, stop it from doing that is you can go to the plane and then find, one second, I don't, I have no idea why that highlight is stuck there. But what you need to do is find the edit these and then where it says can crash value you want to um uncheck mark that and the plane won't blow up anymore when you try to fly it and then other things you can edit are the um acceleration the plane name so i can just put this as 737 and then when you enter the plane th uh the person will see 737 as the plane's name and then you can put the max speed is like 300 and the plane will go that fast and the speed differential is um, how fast it takes for the plane to take off, I think. Let me just check that. So if you have any, like, if you're really confused or something, go on this readme script and it will say, so. Actually, no. Stall speed is, yeah. So stall speed is where how fast the plane it takes to take off. So 125 is about right. And then you can do speed differential. Stall speed, throttle increase, max bank, and all that other stuff. So, after you're done with this, you should be having a working really well plane. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you comment, rate, and or subscribe. So, yeah.